Hi, this is Crystal with Crystal Diversity Creations. So the other day, um, I had shared with you that I purchased the Colop E-Mark um, printer, the little mini printer. Um, it had um, just come out last week. So I purchased it. I was all excited. And I did an unboxing followed by a short video on me using it for the first time. So since then, um, in response to the video, people have asked, how do you upload images to it? So um, I did have some problems trying to upload images myself inadvertently. Um, I got out of the app and when I got out and got back in and I didn't connect the um, printer back to the app, the pictures came in fine every time so then what i started doing was disconnecting it when i wanted to upload the pictures and then it worked perfectly fine so it was kind of hit or miss whether or not it worked when you were already connected so you give it a try but if it doesn't work if you disconnect it will work um like that and of course you know this thing is not cheap so you want to make sure that it's working and you're satisfied and you know it was just very frustrating for me so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to show you how to do that um, also be in mind that when you have a um, picture that is almost like um, a really detailed picture or it's got like a dark background, they do not show up well at all on this um, printer. The best print, um, the best are like images that are, they could be a photo or something, but they would almost be in the flavor of a clip art. They work really well. They show up very good um, when you go to print them out. So that's what I would suggest like it's going to be very difficult for you to get a um, Polaroid type picture. And um, it's got a lot going on because it winds up making it so small, you can't really see it. So let's just go ahead over to the iPad. And so we get over here, we're going to edit. This is already connected. So we're going to edit this image right here. Um, I'm going to say, let's take her off. Let's change out the image gonna go here I've been trying to keep all of my images um, in the one little column so we're gonna put, put a little Chanel there so of course what I tell you it was gonna come up right so it came up this time if I would have sent it to the printer it will print fine you know you just do this to send it tap on there if you want to work with this image and um, you can scale it and you can make it larger up to 200% um, you can also rotate it if you needed to, depending on how that come in. And you just keep clicking that or go backwards to get it where you, where you needed it. So zero puts it back where it was. So you can kind of work with it that way. But what I was trying to tell you was if you ever have a problem, all you have to do is come all the way out and then go here, disconnect. Did it ask you, do you want to join? You say no. Then you go ahead back to what you were doing, which would have been my images. Um, and then you um, go back here, edit the imprint, take her out, change the image, put in your little photo, whichever one you wanted to use. Go here um, and put her in there. And then you would send it to the printer. It's going to ask you then, do you want to join? You say yes. You wait. It's going to load first. Then you'll get two beeps when it's ready. There's your two beeps. Now, if you... Oops, I had a backwards show. So here you are. And you see the image comes up nice when it's only one. If you look down here where I was trying to do my little dog, it's like really hard to see when you try to do an actual image. So I would suggest going with the um, the larger or clearer single images or just something that would be in the flavor of a clip art. Hope that helps. Thank you for stopping by. Like, subscribe. Thank you for um, taking a look at one of Crystal's Diversity Creations videos. Take care.